Last time, Rose and I shared with you how we set up our RV travel trailer at a campsite from beginning to end. And on this video, we're going to show you our full teardown procedure and dump station. Throughout this video, you're going to see a lot of hints, tips, and tricks as far as saving you money, headaches, also how to be prepared for a dump station that's very busy. So we hope you consider supporting our channel by subscribing to us, giving us a thumbs up, and leave your comments down below things that you guys do a little different. Right after this intro, let's get right to it. First thing I like to do is to sweep the floor. That way it gets rid of all the stuff that you've accidentally tracked in, like shells and stuff. We live in Florida, you're going to find them. So, I like to sweep it all. Make sure that way it doesn't get caught into the track and it doesn't pull it through. Which could cause a problem later on. And I've heard of people forgetting and leaving flip flops. They say that's the number one problem with the tracks going out. Flip flops being stuck underneath. That way it's clean for the next trip out. While Rose is sweeping, I like to check the condition of the black and gray tanks before we go to the dump station. Because it doesn't happen often, but there's a lot of times where we've gone to the dump stations and there's been like a line behind us and the last thing you want to do is sit there and refill your tanks just to just to empty them out while people are waiting for you so what i do is i come here and i like to make sure that they're at least two-thirds away full now the front gray tank i don't worry about that i dump that first because it's in two separate areas up front and then the back black tank and gray tank are at one spot so i use that gray tank to em to empty out the hose and clean it so I'll check that. The black tank is two thirds of the way full. If it wasn't two thirds of the way full, I'd go ahead and fill it up outside before we went. The, the other one, the gray tank in the back is two thirds of the way full. So that's good enough. I don't have to put any more water in there. But if we did, what we would do is for the gray tank, we would just open up a sink and let it fill up a little bit that way you got enough gray water in there to clean out from your black tank being flushed out so that's the first thing i like to do the second thing i do is i like to make sure like there's nothing in the front of the slides when it goes in uh, make sure no pillows fell off <clears throat> there's nothing down through here and on that side so we're all good here laundry basket I love this thing dirty clothes go in as you're here when you get home just take the whole basket take it and wash it and then I bring it back and put the clean clothes away um, actually it just folds right now we got dirty clothes in there but there's a little clip in there and it clips to the sides we know it's all safe to close and I always close the back first because I have to close make sure the door is closed to pull this one in so this is the big thing we had one that kind of slid out thank God we could hear it it was crushing the poor little thing so these tend to slide out so make sure you shove them in before the tag comes in after we make sure that everything on the inside is completely clear from the tags coming in um, and the floors are cleaned up is then we go outside before we start unhooking anything and get everything ready for travel and then we break it down yeah then we break it down so let's go outside now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the water and Rose is going to let off the pressure on the inside
going to allow me to unhook the water from the back here. I always start with the tag in the very back. That way I can see it and then I close the door. I've already checked to make sure there's nothing on the floor around. <clears throat> the chairs are braced with pillows so they don't slide off and hit anything. We go down here and we make sure all the fuses are off. Always make sure all the fuses are off. come out here and make sure that this water fuse is off. You can see it right there. It says off and on. You want that on off. That way we don't burn out our heating coil. Some people like to empty it out, but we don't do that till we get home. Um, that way it just all smushes around in there and by the time we get home we let it out and any dirty water or whatever will just flow right out. buttoned up nothing on the counters that'll fall everything looks good I guess the awnings a good thing right yeah that, that's always it does make it a little wider it's <laughs> out And this time it didn't have water on it. Beware <laughs> if it's got water. Because <laughs> I've done that before. I had a bath. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the stabilizers are up before we hook anything up because if you lift up your RV to put it on the trailer hitch you will crush your stabilizers. Alright, now that we're almost ready, besides undoing the power, we make sure to leave the wheel chocks on until we are fully hooked up. 
Now we're going to unhook power. Turn off your fuse and disconnect. We put this in the back of our truck because we hook it up at home. Stabilizers are up on both sides. Nothing else is in the way except for the wheel chucks. It's time to hook up the truck. last thing we're going to do is do a final walk around but as we're doing it we're going to take our wheel chucks off oh. let's go take the other side off then we'll have to pull forward a bit all right will my lovely assistant please pull forward a little bit We've done a final walk around, still made sure our campsite was nice and clean, leave it for the next people, all hookups, all blocks, everything is done. We are locked, we are chained, we got electric on. Now we're going to make sure what Rose and I call left, right and brake. Left blinker, right blinker. and brakes. We're all good. Let's go to the dump station. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is dump our front gray tank. Remember on the inside I told you that one does not matter so much because we don't use it to clean out the black tank. I do put gloves on. 99% of the times you wouldn't have need them but I think Rose would get a little bit mad if I went inside and grabbed her to give her a kiss with my dirty hands. It's important when you're putting these things down together that we don't put this on like this because as you're twisting it, you're going to twist it on the other end. So you want to make sure it's where there's no, no twist on it whatsoever. Nice and locked. Lift it up. Put the cap back down on it. We are tight. We are tight. Now we just lift the lever. And we are now flushing out the front gray tank. Okay, that's what I like about these clear. You can tell when it's all done. So now I just put the cock back in, unhook it, lift it up so that way we get all the water out of it. Hook this back up. And then I'm going to ask Rose to go ahead and pull it up so I can get the last two. Okay. 
now we got the front one and this is the back gray tank which is the main one and the black tank so we get it ready get the cap off that's all secure that's still secure that is still secure so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flush out the black tank now this is censored this is awful the back one here is our black tank so we're gonna go ahead and dump that and all the nasty the garbage all all roses doing not mine I had nothing to do with this I think I think she knows I'm lying uh, it's important to do the black tank first because the black tank has got all the solids and everything in there and as it's being flushed out you don't want to leave any of that in your hose that's why everybody flushes out the gray tank last to make sure that all this nasty stuff is cleaned out we'll be able to tell from this clear bottle when it is totally emptied and you can see it's already starting to clear up a little bit not as much hard matters coming out um, so we had the perfect amount remember on the inside I told you we like to keep it at least have it two-thirds the way full that way it flushes everything out all right now that our black tank is flushed we're gonna go ahead and close the valve and open up the gray tank valve to flush everything out and clean out our hose this is all soapy water it's mainly showers Rose and I do like to take a shower every day so it's really cleaning it out it's soapy ish water uh, sink water is bait well the gray tank too or excuse me the black gray tank is all our showers and our bathroom sink so by us taking a shower every day it really likes to fill it up but it's also soapy water and it's cleaning up that hose as you can tell the water that's coming out right now is not dirty it's mainly clean clean soapy water as you can see it finished that's why I do like these clear you can tell when you're done so I'm gonna go ahead and close the gray tank valve up nice and secure I'm gonna disconnect here now we're gonna lift the hose up to make sure we are totally clear of water take the fitting off put it back any residue or anything like that in the RV it's all nice and secure close it up and now we are 100% ready to go all the tanks are clean and we can go home without carrying all the weight so if this helps out anybody please give consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of us until next time guys bye everyone have a great day